Hi there. Welcome to Craft with Kathy. I'm coming at you from the suburbs west of Chicago. Drop me a line and let me know where you're viewing from tonight, this afternoon. <laughs> oh, goodness. I know it's the afternoon yet. <clears throat> anyway, I've got to actually do an interesting project, an easy project, but I wanted to give you a little heads up about what's going on. If you are not familiar with Transfer Palooza, let me tell you a little bit about it. Transfer Palooza allows you to basically select four transfers and get one for free. Which means these are all A size transfers are which are like oh about five by seven or a little bit smaller. And I could pick up a happy Thanksgiving, a hay pumpkin, this cute little chalk um couture very scary ghost transfer and the secret ingredient and one of these will be free for me. Adam, we had four to your cart, the lower priced one. These are all $11 transfers. Um, the lowest priced one would be free. And our transfers are reusable. They're adhesive backed. Think of them as like stencils on steroids. They're adhesive backed. They're made out of vinyl and actually silk screen. And the silk screen gives us this beautiful definition. And they're real easy to clean and maintain. Finish your project, clean them up, let them dry, put them back in the little envelope for the next time you use it. So I'm going to jump right in here and do Hey Pumpkin. This is what I'm going to start with today. I know I've got so many things to show you that I just, I was going to actually do a, an unboxing the other day and I'm in the midst of totally, totally redoing my craft room. So I have things scattered all over the place and unfortunately, um, I couldn't even get to all the stuff I needed to show you the unboxing. Hey, Terry, how you doing? So I'm going to start right here with a hay pumpkin, and I'm going to do it on our board and base. And our board and base is a reusable surface. It's a chalkboard and a little wooden base. And the chalkboard comes in either white or in black. Let me get it out here. This is the white, but you could choose black if you wanted to. And it's perfect for our five by seven inch transfers. They're our A size, so it's great for that. And it's made of our um, our boutique, it's our boutique surface so that it's chalkboard so you could erase it. You could do this for the fall. And when you're tired of it and you wanna put Christmas up there, just spritz it with water, wipe it off and put another transfer on. And it can be set in the board either horizontally or a little snug on that side or vertically. So really easy to use. So I'm going to do Hey Pumpkin. There's not a lot that you really need to do this project. If you are new to chalking and you would like to try it out, just grab a board and base, pick out some A size transfers, and remember, Transfer Palooza, buy four, get one free, so take advantage of that deal. And then select the color paste you want. You could go with our three ounce paste, or you could actually go with our individual packets. I'm going to use our three ounce paste, and I am, because I'm doing Hey Pumpkin, I am going to use Hey Pumpkin. We do have um, our orange peel paste is in the individual packets and that would also go great for this project. So I'm going to do something really simple here. I'm taking it off of its backer sheet. It's adhesive backed. I'm going to fuzz it on my fuzzing cloth. If you do not have a fuzzing cloth, you could use a sweater or a t-shirt or a pair of jeans. Anything that's going to deliberately put a little bit of fuzz on the adhesive back of the transfer so that it doesn't stick quite as snugly. We soften the adhesiveness by fuzzing it. So I'm going to apply it to my transfer. I'm going to put a little bit closer to the top because the bottom fits into the little slot. So I don't want to have the transfer exactly on the bottom. Oh, that's a little crooked, but the slot's about a half an inch deep. So you just want to make sure that you don't have anything at the last half inch of your, of your um, surface. 
Let me lift this up and straighten it out. Bear with me. I'm still, believe it or not, dealing with vertigo to a certain degree. So um, lining things up sometimes could be a challenge for me. It's really been driving me crazy. Okay. It's crooked again. Figures, right? Okay, one more try. Third time's the charm, right? Oh, I can't lift it. And yes, I have broken so many fingernails moving things around. It's been absolutely crazy, crazy. But you know what? Once it's done, I will be so happy. And I know it's been a lot of work. It's hard. I find it's difficult sometimes to know how you want something arranged until you actually take everything out and see what you have of whatever. And my goodness, that in itself, whoops, that in itself leads, leads to total chaos, at least around here it does. Okay, so I've got my paste. Ooh, and doesn't that just look like pumpkin? And my little squeegee, I'm dipping it into the paste, and I'm just going to go over my transfer. I don't have to press hard or anything. Just want to go through anywhere that the white is showing through because that's the silk screen. You can see how quick and easy this is. Our paste is made out of chalk. It's chalk paste, not chalk paint. It goes on liquid, but it will dry to a hard finish. And if I need to, I could always speed up the drying by using um, a hair dryer or our drying tool. You do not want to use a heat tool that you would use for like um, embossing power with um, paper crafting because that is definitely a, a heat tool for embossing powder is definitely too hot. So I've got all my silk screen covered. I'm just going back over, removing any lines, removing any excess paste. Returning the excess paste to the jar. Cleaning it up a little bit more. And that's pretty much it. Let me lift up this transfer and we'll take a look at this. I never want to lift from the corners and pull and tug on the corner, so I might lift up the corner just to gain purchase to the middle and then lift it up. Oh, isn't that a beautiful script? So nice and clear. What do you think? I'm good, Terry. Thank you. Just been, like I said, total craziness around here. So just trying to get used to that. So our regular paste will dry in about Mm, about five minutes. Our shimmers take about eight minutes to dry. So I'm going to set this right on top of the board and base over here to dry while I clean this transfer. In the midst of Transfer Palooza, which is buy four, get one free. However, as of, I think it was Friday, we came up with a slash sale. Aha, uh -huh, slash sale. Like slasher movies, get it? Flash Sale has Halloween items on sale for 50% off. And it's not only transfers. It's transfers and embellishments. So we've got some spooky cool transfers out there right now. And their corresponding embellishments. Think of like, um, Oh, do I have anything handy? Let's see. Let's, this is something old, but we have um, embellishments made out of this material. Same thing as the board and base, so it's reusable and rechalkable. But we have like um, a skull, perfect for Halloween. We've got a long forearm. We've got a lot of different things. And they're also any of the Halloween items. I shouldn't say any. Most of the Halloween items are really, are reduced to 50% off as part of the slash sale. Now, here's where things get really interesting. Yes, you can combine items from the slash sale or transfers for the, from, the, from the slash sale. I still don't like the sprayer with Transfer Palooza. So if I picked out four Halloween transfers, 
and they were all the same size, I would get one of them for free. Your free item is always going to be the lowest price. So if you had some larger transfers, your smaller and smaller ones, your smaller one would be for free. So you could be a little creative with that and decide how you best want to handle the purchase to really, really take advantage of both sales. It's pretty cool. Usually our sales don't overlap like that, but the last month or so they have been. And it's really kind of a bonanza for all of us chalkers. It's kind of cool. So I'm just wiping that remaining chalk paste off with a little disinfecting wipe. I'm flipping it over, and now I'm going to clean the back. This is a board eraser that I just cut in half. And ideally, I would have taken this over to the sink and cleaned it up under running water with using my board eraser. I just like it because it's it's quicker. Or I could just massage the paste with my fingers. You don't have to really have a board eraser if you don't want to. So I'm removing any excess paste, any remaining paste off of this, the back of this transfer, off of the adhesive portion. And then I'm going to come over. Let me grab another white. Just because the oranginess of this, it's highly pigmented. And I really rather not be holding it. And turning my fingers a little orange. Now I'm going to come over and wipe in one direction to remove the lint that I deliberately applied. And then I will set this aside, sticky side up, to dry. Once it's dry, I'll put it back on its little backer sheet. This is called the backer sheet. And then I'll put it in its envelope and set it aside for the next time I want to use it. It's really that easy to, to basically clean your transfers. It just takes a minute or so. Mix it with water and use a board eraser, hence board eraser. It actually was developed for the board but works great in our transfers. I could use it to wipe it off and um, replace anything that I made. A, oops, or wipe the whole thing off and redo it if I wanted to. But... If I want to let it dry, there's actually a little area here where there's a little bleed on both sides of the P. I probably didn't push the transfer down enough. You always want to smooth the transfer down and make sure that um, you don't have any air bubbles. And I probably missed a little spot. So once it's dry, I could come in here with my little detail tool and just actually scrape off that little area of paste. Just right there it was just a teeny teeny little bit of bleed and then a little bleed on this side and maybe just a little tiny airline bleed there blow it away and that's it how easy was it to clean that up what project can you actually do in general and creative projects what can you do in less than an hour isn't this absolutely amazing as promised, here's the deets for the slash sale. And remember, the slash sale and transfer with Wooza can be combined. So check some of these projects out. Perfect for Halloween and even some of them for Thanksgiving. What a wonderful deal. Remember, out of every four items, the lowest price one will be the free item. So mix and match judiciously. Oh, and isn't that tear tray set amazing, cute, spooky, a little creepy, and some of them are fun. What an absolutely awesome deal. Thanks for watching. I will see you soon.